shaman being to bring the parts of the souls that were lost back to their bodies and um, I'm reading this book on female shamanism right now that's really cool it's Shakti Woman I think it's pretty rad um, and I was reading about visualization today and then I um, 
I was like sitting down and I decided to try it sort of I just kind of fell into it and I started going on this you know down this road into this wood and there's an opening and you go through and there's like there's like a set you follow the sound of the water and you like bathe in the pool and put on the white garment that's waiting for you you know I mean I'm sure you've all done lots and lots of like <laughs> visualization you've gone on lots of interdimensional traveling excursions um I did that and I went down into this green wooded place and I encountered this this red snake that wrapped itself around my right leg and this purple butterfly that alighted on my left shoulder and then this white snake dropped down and like around my shoulders and this little rodent guy with these really big eyes and you know like we're hanging out and doing some like internal healing work and it's great and then um my body is uh, in my room at my house, and uh, John Paul comes in and <laughs> sits down next to me, and then all of a sudden I'm like in two dimensions at once, and I don't know if anybody, you've probably, inter yeah, like you've been stuck between the worlds, it's a really weird place, because you're like, I'm like, um, uh, yeah, and, like I kept trying to go back to that place, but I couldn't because I was here, but I couldn't be all the way here, and I like, felt physically sick, you know, I was like, ugh, like, this is so, I had to go to, a, like, a, a third kind of place, and then, like, call all the pieces of myself back together, and then, you know, intentionally come back into this reality, and this reality, <laughs> and that's what I did, and that's, here I am, but, Thanks so the lesson of back. that, yeah, right, I was like, I have a show today, like, <laughs> like, don't fuck around with somatic trance states, because that shit is real. Like, <laughs> okay, so, uh, Kayla on Skull. that, Kayla Skull, okay. Like I said, I figured it out. You figured it out? Okay, cool. Um, so, according to esoteric teaching, before, there was a time before matter was solid, when human skulls hadn't hardened all the way, and there was this little lamp that stuck out of everyone's foreheads called the Lamp of Osiris, and it was for spiritual sight. You could like see spiritual dimensions. And um, eventually the skull closed over that that light and it became the pineal gland or the third eye or the what have you. Um, but Plato had a, it's called the allegory of the cave, where like they would lock up these slaves in these caves and they were forced to stand there and they would see these shadows on the walls like flickering and they thought that that was what the world was. They were seeing these shadows and they thought the shadows was, they thought that was the world. It was just these dancing shadows and his allegory was that from within our skulls, which the universe created to think about itself, um, we just, all we see is the dancing shadows of reality. And the song is about that.
oldest epic in human history is the story of Inanna that's written on these old Sumerian tablets. That It's the story of her traveling down through these seven gates into the underworld to rescue her brother slash husband who's also the son, you know, whatever. He <laughs> had the male half of the deity. Um, and every culture has their own kind of, like, lots of cultures have versions of this myth. This particular one is, um, the one that this song is about is about Isis, the Egyptian goddess going to find Osiris. Um, and, uh, that, how, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, we moved to Santa Cruz this last summer, and um, that is a whole other story. But for a while, we had this apartment. I don't know why, it's really quiet in here, but it just sounds like more official to the microphone. For a while, we had this apartment that was right by the beach, and I didn't have a job, and he hadn't started school yet, and we were just... But basically, like, his mom gave us a bunch of hash, and all I did was, like, smoke hash and do yoga and read, like, esoteric... I read, like, the Illuminatus trilogy. I started reading about mythology. I read a lot of Robert Anton Wilson. And that was what spawned this album that we then recorded and then dropped out of school to pursue. Um, <laughs> again, collectively, we probably have about at least a half dozen dropouts. Of anyway, um, this was the first song that we wrote um, in this format for this record. It's called Muhammad Chang Steals Christmas. <laughs> the first time they opened, the doors were far too wide. I cannot see my eyes. I'm just a dream in disguise. Los Angeles. <laughs> um, that's, I'm not there anymore, so I'm guessing that San Diego's purgatory and it's actually pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, this uh, it's, he was also an initiate into a bunch of secret societies. It changed. It was a new level of conscience, consciousness as anyone who's ever fallen in love can attest to. Um, 
so it kind of opened up another level of human experience that we've been having ever since then. Thank <laughs> you. 